Hey, 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 welcome to another video on our look at marketing and the marketing mix. And today we're going to take a look at price and price strategies. Yes, these various strategies that manufacturers, that producers use to position their products in the marketplace using price. So make sure you follow the store and philosophy, get out your notes, and sit back and enjoy. So what are you going to learn today? Well, we're going to take a look at, uh, first off, why we use various price strategies. Then we're going to break down each of the price strategies into more detail, from market skimming to penetration pricing to competitive pricing, and lastly, economy pricing. So why do companies use price strategies? Well, think about it. Why do companies make products? Why do companies promote their product? Why do companies place their product in various different locations? Right? It's part of their marketing mix, and they understand that the right price will target the right consumer. This is achieving a marketing goal of theirs. This is a way to achieve those marketing objectives they set out for. So by identifying the appropriate price strategy, you will identify the appropriate target consumer and that target consumer will purchase your product. That will generate sales and that will lead to profit. And again, almost all companies or most companies are definitely in it for the profit. So the right price will lead to that profit. And as we saw in the previous video, right, you need to figure out the appropriate price based on various different factors, namely your break-even analysis. And by doing so, you then can set your price strategy and therefore lead to increased profit. So the four price strategies that companies can implement in the marketplace are economy, penetration, market skimming, and competitive pricing. Now these are ranges that your price will fall into. It's not the exact price you're going to set it at. It's the idea of you're going to set it high or low or a combination of such. And as we'll see in the next video, price policies then take on these price strategies. So the first price strategy is penetration pricing. This is a temporary kind of movement of your price. It's a long-term goal and a long-term strategy, but it's when you initially set a low price for your product or service. You then attract those consumers to your product, develop that brand recognition you want, develop that brand loyalty you want, and then you raise the price on them. And then that's when you're going to start to recover a lot more uh, m costs and, and money in that. So it's it's often used when the market is full of competition and acquiring market share is very, very difficult. You probably have tried promotional strategy. You probably have tried to differentiate your product to a certain degree and have done some placement of your product that is different from your competitors. However, it, none of that has really worked and the only way to acquire that market share, therefore, is to enact a low price and then gradually raise it. If it's done when there's little competition, it's because the company is trying to recoup those development costs quickly. So quantity um, will lead to greater recovery. So lower price, higher quantity sold. And therefore, it will also make it difficult for com competition to enter that market. If it's an already established low price, the competition coming into the market will have to set their prices low too, and that might be difficult for them. Consumers, again, will come to recognize your, your brand first and will more likely become loyal to purchasing it. However, it should only be used when the variable costs of your product are low and the one-time development costs are high. Therefore, increased quantity will recoup those qu costs very quickly. But you have to be able to foresee that you will make up for the loss of the profit fairly quickly through quantity and cover those lower variable costs. If you fail to look at this, if your variable costs are high, then it might be very difficult to recover those costs.
So market skimming is used when you're out ahead of the competition. You're first in the race and all those other competitors will have to catch up to you. So if you've entered the market first, you're able to capitalize on that product in terms of its uniqueness and the loan position in the marketplace. You're all alone out there and no one else can take that away from you. Therefore, you're going to set a high price. You're going to set a high price because you're the only one out there and you can recover those costs very quickly. You can reap the benefits of of setting that high price and the rewards are those higher profits. You'll reach your break even point therefore much much faster and recover all those costs. And hopefully if you recover enough of those costs and you reap enough of those profits, those rewards, then you will then use those to dominate the marketplace. And so if anyone else comes into the, the market later, you can just simply use your muscle, right, all those profits, all that money that you have and push them back out of the marketplace. Right? So as soon as your development or production costs are recovered or competitors therefore enter the market, you can then lower the price if you want and become competitive and make it very difficult for those competitors who have entered the market to recover their costs because they will probably have the same costs as you. But because they came in second or third or so on and so forth, they won't be able to set that high price and, and recover those costs as quickly as you did because again, you were first. However, if you don't recover those developmental costs before competition enters, you may be at a major competitive disadvantage. If someone else enters the market while well, you're the only one in there and they have managed to find a way to produce the same product at a much lower cost, then you might find yourself out of business fairly quickly. So competitors will benefit as well from your experience in your research and the development of already being in the marketplace and they will copy your strategies and your successes um, fairly closely and again try and push you out of the marketplace. Sometimes the higher price is also used to limit demand, however, because you, you can't produce the products as quickly as you would like. So you're limiting demand so that you can match in terms of production. Uh, and therefore businesses will therefore set that higher price to allow them to more easily meet that demand. When production facilities then become more efficient and you can produce as, enough that you can match the demand, then you can lower the price and increase demand. Lastly is economy pricing. Now this is similar to penetration pricing in terms of low prices. However, the difference, it's always going to be low prices. They're not going to raise their prices after a certain period of time. So think Walmart and their old slogan, always low prices. They are capitalizing on their economy pricing strategy. They are managed to do so because they keep their marketing and promoting very, very low. They also pressure their producers, their manufacturers, their distributors, their suppliers to also manage very low prices and therefore pass that along to the consumer. Now economy pricing is often used on economy brands so if you walk into a store and see an economy brand you'll find that price always low. Very rarely will they have a sale to even reduce the price even further. Uh, it will just always remain low. Right? So, and therefore, it's going to attract consumers to purchase that product because they know it's always a low price. It often attracts the target consumer that has a lower income than other consumers. And by doing so, they're going to develop a bit of a niche market as well through their economy pricing strategy and therefore attract a very specific type of consumer that hopefully there's no other competitors really attracting that consumer and therefore you can win in this marketplace.